Let me get my normal boots on. We have so much ice and snow. He's right there. The girls are getting the blanket on them so everybody here can sign it. I'll yeah. definitely sign. The crowd has grown. <laughs> I yeah. turned my back. So Dwayne did tell me I could get my interview. I'm very excited about that. But I'm going to go over and say hi to the head of How you been, buddy? Here's the course. And then head off so I can get him in night vision. Everybody's so I, I saw him uh, committing uh, conspiracy to uh, terroristically chew hay at Malachir's the last time I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> Terroristically chewing hay yes, is what he was guilty and charged for, and then he was taken into custody and kidnapped by some captors, and legal captors. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things right? about of course. this story that so, I found horrible is like they actually sort of held Hellboy the hostage. The that just the feds walked did. circles yeah. around the refuge with his daddy in the flag, right? Yeah. So this is Hellboy the Terrorist Force. They really are the sweet. They're like big dogs. Really Which was charged with eating, with. what is that, federal hay? Look at those eyes. This is a suspected terrorist in night vision. Hey, this this video is going to make a million dollars on YouTube. Somebody He's going to start tasting my clothes any second. Somebody remembers the camera. Hey, bud. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. You should. <laughs> I love this horse. He's a good boy. He's the coolest horse. We got some uh, video of him, a video clip. I don't even know if it posted to my Facebook this morning of him turned around in the trailer in town, looking out at us in the car. Fans, don't you? So I'll make sure that gets posted. If um, apparently I'm having some signal delays from from the east side of Washington. So I don't even know if that video's up on my wall. That would be the Marine Corps here public. Mm -hmm. I will be happy to share this. Please, everybody, share this. Um, spread these videos. This is just our first stop with others to share, uh, to give their love and support to uh, Wayne, but also to discuss the highlighted topic of education uh, for the, you know, not just for the people that might come here that's new to the story as this goes viral in our videos, but while our videos are going viral, it's important that new people see them when we go into <laughs> I'm topics like the way of discussion was. about this county and about the other people uh, involved in both the Oregon uh, Stand Up and the Nevada Bundy Ranch. Fiasco and, and talk about the misconduct and court misconduct as well, and prosecution misconduct. Uh, the investigation itself was riddled with misconduct lies, lies on the reports. Uh, I'm a witness to that with just a refuge and research kind of stand up. I know what I saw on the ground, and I know what I heard in court, and you would think it was two separate events. Good to see you guys the whole year, by the way. I'm finally going to make my comments. If I seem distracted, I, I will apologize for my old head. It keeps on me. Like, it's but, super uh, warm, like, on his neck. Like, it feels that way. So, we got him saying, holy moly, my swearing cow. Oh, yeah, I'm going to sign that. Mediation oh, from the Governor of the Republic. I, I like that, Daryl. You know, there was an apple in my pocket. It's probably very small. It's not, it's not there. It's not there. This muscle here, yeah, 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 yeah. bite muscle is so, yeah, that's all the muscle for chewing. And I'm just going to stay alive. I'm just going to stay alive. No, it's a, that all right here is muscle. It's like, that's a pick. I'm going to wander around. Oh, look at that. Shot of <laughs> he eats everything. Did we get the pins, Dwayne, to sign? Yes, they should be in the right. bowl in the truck. All right, we got the pins finally.
stand and relax, girls. So, you have any questions? I told him about Hellboy being arrested by the CIA. Is that a lot of people? All right. There's my signature. We've got the silver and we have black. Who wants the silver one? All right. The thing is, though, they own a lot more. Hello. Who are you? Um, the thing is, they own a whole lot more. As a matter of fact, half probably more than hundreds of the land. So that's not really open to the public now, is it? And not only that, they are constantly increasing their restrictions via regulations. Brad smells like pepper sticks. I mean, there's no one person that can get anywhere around. I, um, uh, I, 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 you can't take that from me, sorry. Fantastic. Yeah. Where's that tail, buddy? <laughs> oh, my God. See you over the line. After everybody signs it, I'll give you guys all a ride on them. I will. We'll put you up there if you want. No, I have not signed. Okay, Do wait, I get to well, sign? I'm going to interrupt this educational Here, video it. for a signature. There you go. Here I go. All right, where do you want, Hellboy? <laughs> All right, this is not the blanket that was at the refuge, but it's identical. We auctioned the one that we had at the refuge off. What'd you get for it? I don't know, but it saved my house. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Maybe they were here and I was late. Could be. What? Maybe the representative was here and I was late. I'm going to remember where I left off on my educational story. So, well, we'll see. Is there any questions that you guys have for Dwayne while I have him for a moment? I, I don't believe Senator Wyden is on my side. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would, I'd be happy to say that. Oh, not a problem. Senator Wyden, huh? <laughs> so he's not on the side of freedom. He's not on the side of justice I don't and right cause, righteous truth. If I understand things right, I think he lives in New York. That's that's, that's how right. I'm feeling. Yeah. That's right. He's yeah. going on. What is going maybe on in should, New York? Maybe we should vote people in that actually live here. Right. And understand the lands, That's an idea. understand ranching and the lands. Not, and not just ranchers, right? But land management itself for vast different uses. So that goes the back. Public. That goes back to the founding of our country. Taxation without representation. You can't have a person who is making the world for you that doesn't live with you in your area and understand what you're doing. But, but now I'm a convicted felon and I can't vote. So. They'll but take my educate. tax money, but I don't have any say so where it goes. So well, I, you, you can vote in Oregon. Yeah, Oregon, you can vote. So our last recourse lately has just been educated. Yeah, no, you can vote. Yeah. Once you're up for Facebook, you can vote. We are. 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 We
we are. We are the media. We are. You are the media. Yeah, yeah, you are the media. Yeah, everybody signed the blanket, right? Say something, say yes, I believe so. I didn't sign it. I didn't sign it. She's got the pen. I'll film it. What am I writing? You're signing your name. Oh. Put your name on it, baby. Well, she's gonna just the back markers. <laughs> you can't eat it. She's a horse woman. She can handle it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So we are actually so much warmer now that we are here. This is I'm sorry than the I was late, guys. For the last couple of days. <laughs> I tried to be here on time. Yeah, way to weather is. That's we understandable. We waited for you. No, no, we got for the travel. You know, there were no relatives out there. Traffic, weather. <laughs> you hear that, Dwayne? They were here at four, and there was no representative here at four o'clock. Well, yes, here at three. Why does it that surprise me? Yeah, exactly. You know? In fact, I, I called. And left messages for for uh, Greg Smith from Hepner, who is my representative. Uh, he asked me some questions, and there's conversation back and forth. But there's been no reply from any of my messages after the refuge. There's been no reply from Greg Smith, Hepner. No reply. How did you send him? I tried to talk to him about what actually happened. Everything. Everything. What you witnessed. You were a witness, not not a terrorist. Right? <laughs> you are a witness all right. to it. If it's all signed, let's get this out on and start giving people rides. Or you're going to let other people, people ride. ride. Wait, wait, wait. Well, since 1964, since they bought the ranch. Uh, they've had the water <laughs> fenced off from their cows. They've been taken to court numerous times. They were arrested for a backburn on... Um, trying to save their house from a, uh, a fire set by BLM and charged with terrorism and convicted with a terrorism enhancement, if I understand things right. And it was only like 127 acres that actually burned across the fence. And they're in a five-year minimum uh, prison sentence. Now, this is the second prison sentence that they, they've done. The prosecution Do, appealed the original sentence. Right. So they went to prison. Uh, they served their time. They were released. And seven days before statute of limitations was up, they were sent back to prison. And Isn't now, that kind of double jeopardy? Uh, it's, yeah. kind, it's bullshit is There's what it is. For <laughs> two four sentences of, on one charge. And, and I, I use that word lightly. You know, uh, and for those that don't really understand out in the country what a backburn is, um, when a threatening fire is coming towards you or your property, you can light a line or backburn, which can combat and neutralize the fire coming. Yeah, at we'll you. stop it. To it protect will choke your it out property, to protect right. your property and your livelihood and your your, your uh, animals. 127 acres is nowhere near worth five years for terrorism. They charged them for terrorism. Terrorism. So are they felons? Do you know if it is They're a felony? Felon, yeah. it's so felon. it's a felony digging a hole, and we have felony lighting a fire. I, 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 I dug a foxhole with an excavator. No, make no mistake about it, when they were coming to kill my friends, I dug a hole. I, I take full responsibility of that. What did you dig that hole, Dwayne? Wasn't it the government that taught you how to dig a foxhole? But what did you see around you that made you feel threatened enough to do well, that? Well, there were snipers on the ground. There were choppers in the air. There was Blackwater mercenaries on the ground. There was FBI dressed up as militia uh, causing havoc in downtown Burns. And they were calling us terrorists. And what was the the, the helicopters with the guns hanging out? No, no, no. Yeah, we brought that up in court. Did you engage in some terrorist cleaning of the place? I mean, didn't you use a, a weaponized broom to straighten up around that? Can you uh, touch I, I, on that for us? I did a lot of repairs for the 30 days at the refuge. Um, terrorist repairs? Um, I, I love history. Uh, I went to school for anthropology, Kansas State University. Um, 
I seen an old neat rock barn and I fixed it up and I cleaned it up and I, I made it usable. Uh, it, it's a beautiful building that was off limits to the public. I have yeah. those videos still. I'll yeah, show them I, again. I, of course, I was being sarcastic. I mean, that was one of the things that I I, I, I found m most egregious. As you went there and you improved the, the value of the property. We, we and, all cleaned yeah. our asses off. Yeah, and that's the first thing that struck me when I went down there. People were saying you were tearing the place up and making a mess. Now, and it was all pristine. I mean, you guys were taking care of it. I have the all the FBI clear. photos of the place after we left. And there was a stain on a carpet. Uh, there was drywall damage from one room, but I'm pretty sure it was before it's the refuge thing even happened. Uh, they were in the middle of construction on the firehouse, and they just didn't take care of the place. You know? Uh, I, I, and I can confirm as I've seen what you saw all yeah. around, and it was in disarray and disrepair, and it was long, long term. And Years of neglect. And, and they don't give a shit about our history. They don't care. What about those artifacts? Tell, talk about how those artifacts were being stored out at the refuge. <laughs> Native American artifacts. Now, I went to back to say if it was uh, if, if it was Native American Indian ground, give it back to the Indians. And then uh, the government must have paid the Indians to come up on the stand and say that it was ancient Indian holy ground with all the the video cables underneath the ground. Holy ground with video cables? And parking networks. lot on top of it. And, yeah. And, and not only that, but they sifted through all the dirt that you had dug. 17 truckloads of dirt they sifted through with the screen to try to find something. And what did they find? Absolutely nothing. And that was yeah. a forensics investigation. Yeah. yeah. That, that caused me like three quarters of a million dollars they said. So they charged you for their forensic evidence of every scrap of uh, every gram of dirt you've moved. Yeah. yeah. Restitution. Wow. You know, I don't consent for the government to rob you like that. No no one asked my permission. But but I know. had to pay the ten thousand dollars restitution to the Native Americans that got on the stand and lied yeah. about everything. See yeah, there's where did no you, justice. Where did you sleep while you were out there? In the barn. I slept in the barn. Was anybody with Hellboy? With Hellboy. Um, and, and how cold was it when you were sleeping in that barn? It was cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, getting your bones cold? <laughs> we got one more person to sign and then one we're going to... One more person to sign, it looks like. And then ride. <laughs> and then we give ride. I got uh, a freelance news person half hour out. Who is that? Uh, so, point six is 30 minutes oh, out. Right yeah. So, we've got some oh, media, yeah, mainstream media yeah. coming. They're coming for their sound bite. Where's the pin, baby? Well, we have the unedited uh, got the live. Uh, Anybody got a pin? Cheyenne has them right here. Cheyenne, there we go. This is my daughter, Becky. Hey, wait, Dwayne, did oh. you sign the pin already? Let me see how many Did you sign it already? I will. By the way, does do Flash a spook your horse? It better not. Oh, don't Flash. Okay. <laughs> Let me know if Flash is bothering him. No, it should be okay. Oh, okay. Well, you know, the, the only thing is... Thank you. If that hole saved my friend's life, then a year in prison is worth every bit of it. There you go. That's the bottom line. Yeah. It's here today. Yeah. Know, tingle. Maybe somebody uh, could talk about that, but uh, people that have supported you along the way wish that they could be here to sign that for you. He was really nice. He was really friendly. I asked him if it was okay. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. oh, bright light! Signing. I guess I better sign up. Huh? I have yet. Thanks. Yep. Sure. Really? No more trees for you. There we go. Now it's official. You okay? Yeah. Okay, let's do this.
Cindy, all right. All right. So all everyone right. that's traveling with us is now officially signed. Did you yeah. get to sign? Yep. All, all right. right. So we and we're going to have this signed. blanket with us the whole, the whole way. So anybody who signs it, shows up and signs it, that would be great. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. And we'll be announcing where we're at. Go Where are we starting tomorrow <laughs> morning? Uh, why don't we do a live stream later tonight and let everybody know? Okay. You hear that? Okay. So look I would love to ride around this building tomorrow if I can. I can but you want to stay here and do it in the day? Yeah. It would be a lot safer. Let's talk we'll talk about it offline. We'll, yeah. yeah. we'll talk about it and get back to everybody. Well, you all know what Dwayne wants, so you know where our conversation is. Dwayne likes to ride his horse, guys. Right. Dwayne, are you riding him tonight at all? I guess let's uh, up. let's uh, put everybody up on him. We can. I volunteer. I want to try. I, I, I miss it. it. I miss it. Rides, I and I never did. So here's... Yeah. Wayne, you're going to have to walk away with that knee. Oh, and I can't bend it very well. Oh. There you go. That's All why right, I don't I ride got that it. much. Got it. Got it. Look at that. I'm like a little kitty. <laughs> so much right on him guys but down lower and to the, to the sides or my lights not hitting him okay and uh, what we're gonna do here is I need you to start off by saying and spelling your name for me uh, my name is Dwayne Emer uh, D-U-A-N-E E-H-M-E-R I'm from Oregon, Oregon okay Dwayne and who's this you have with you this is Hellboy Hellboy's uh, the, the horse Cowboy's was, getting a little cranky this evening, isn't he? Uh, he's probably tired. Yeah? Why don't you tell us a little bit about the day you and and the horse have had? Well, uh, we started off today in Moore County, and uh, the roads were so bad we ended up trailering uh, to the state capitol. And uh, we're going to start the majority of our ride to Lompoc, California from here. 
Uh, much nicer weather here than my house. Uh, a lot safer. No ice. What's been What's <coughs> been your route? Um, well, it started off with me only riding the Sheridan, and then they they decided my prison was in Lompoc, California. So we decided to ride to Lompoc, California. Okay. Well, that takes us to a little bit of uh, to why you're riding. Um, uh, you mentioned your prison. Tell us about this. I, I was convicted of digging a hole on the Malheur Wildlife Refuge um, during the standoff. Uh, the 94 years of charges that they filed against me, I was innocent of. And then uh, I was convicted of digging a foxhole for my own self-protection. And I was sentenced to a year in federal prison. Uh, we were trying to, to drum up attention for the Hammonds. The Hammonds uh, have been serving a five-year minimum federal uh, sentence for Jonah Backburn and, and Burns. And um, they were sentenced with a terrorism enhancement and uh, now they're in prison. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you believe that this has been overreach on the, on the part of the federal government? It, it has been gross overreach, and uh, it seems our senators and our congressmen and our district representatives won't do anything about it. Okay, and so now you're making a ride to uh, Lompoc, California. To turn myself in, uh, spend my year and a day in federal prison, and uh, raise as much uh, noise as I can for the Hamptons. White and Stephen Hammond. Okay. Where are they right now? They're they're in a prison in Southern California. Okay. So if people wanted to support them, where could they go online to help out? I would say talk to Susie Hammond uh, Lindsay first. Tyler. Or Lindsay or Tyler. Katie Beatty. Or Katie Beatty. Or Katie Beatty. They're all real close, you know, helping each other get through this you, rough you, time. You don't know if there's any Facebook pages, something like that? I'm sure there is. Okay. I'm sure there is. I'll, I'll find the stuff. I'll find it. There's one. Hold on. Well, while she looks for that, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, how your day went, the, some of the challenges you and the horse have experienced today. Uh, well, we got to go to my favorite coffee shop and see all my old men that gather around every morning and say our goodbyes and, and uh, spend time having a hot cup of coffee with my friends and then we departed. And we're going to do like 30 stops in 30 days at as many places we to go to on the way to the prison. Okay. And so you've got about 30 days now between now and then. Yes. So every day will be a different stop. Uh, some days will be two or three different stops. You know, it's it's as many as we can get in uh, by the time I have to report. Okay. Well, um, Hellboy needs a... Uh, he needs put up for the night, doesn't he? <laughs> he needs an apple. <laughs> um, let's just wrap it up by uh, you telling me what you'd like to say to the folks. I would like to see the Hammonds out of prison. Uh, presidential pardon or uh, an investigation launched into why they're in prison in the first place because I think it is unjustified and. Uh, that's what I would like to see happen. Is, uh, what about your own sentence? Do you think it's fair? I, I believe with all my heart I dug that foxhole to save my friend's life. Justice for LaVoy Finnecom. And uh, if doing a year in federal prison means keeping my friends alive, then by all means send me to a year in prison. Um, have you got anything to say to your representatives? No. They don't got nothing to say to me neither. Okay. Well, we can uh, leave it right there, can't we? It's Operation Free the Hammonds. Thank you. Freedom! Yeah, that's where you can go on Facebook to help out uh, Operation Free the Hammonds. Okay. Yeah.
you need dresses for Lavoy Finicum? Definitely. And Jerry was definitely Dunibus? an ambush. And all of us. An ambush. And that man who did it to the state town of We need our P3 accountability in order. This is government accountability. I just want to raise awareness for what we could do today. You know, uh, we can't solve all the problems, but I would like to see the Hammond tree. Hey, you've been bearing witness live with Salem News Journal, and we thank you.